Hi guys, uh, today I would like to talk to you about your your CV, okay? um, what you need to do before submitting your application through for a position. What we've come across is that a lot of candidates that have been submitting that submit CV through to us for positions um, are not very conscious when it comes to their CVs or the preparation of their CVs. For instance, we have received quite a few CVs in the past uh, that have either been scanned copies or old outdated copies where uh, you've either scratched out information on the CV and written it in pencil or pen, etc., um, where the information is so outdated that we cannot even get in contact with you to arrange an interview, etc. What I need to advise is when you are sending a CV through for a position that you've applied for, please ensure that all the information is up to date. Okay, the position you're applying for, your CV needs to be the information needs to be relevant on that CV. So if you're applying for example an accountant's position or a financial manager position etc you need to have that proper experience annotated on your CV um, before applying for the position. You can't be applying for the position if you don't do not have the relevant experience. So make sure that your CV or ensure that your CV corresponds with the position that you're applying for as well. Even if you do market research on the position before you apply for the position, um, do a market-related research, update your CV in, according, in accordance to the information that you find out regarding the position you're applying for. Okay. Also, another point I'd like to raise. If you have a look at the CV in front of you, I've just put this up on, on, on the screen for you to view. Um, this is an example of what a CV should look like, an attractive CV. In most cases, a lot of clients or candidates submit CVs through that are your normal black and white CVs. You need to understand or bear in mind that a recruiter receives over a thousand or more CVs per position for every position that they have uh, put through or that they've advertised. Now, for a recruiter to go through every single CV is quite tiresome and monotonous and what I could urge that for you, to, that could be an advantage on your side, is when you send, try and make your CV attractive. Reason being is that a recruiter, it's common sense, a recruiter will pay more attention to a CV that's more attractive than a normal, your normal boring black and white CV. Okay. In some cases, not a lot of people like to have their photos displayed on their CV. That's not a problem. In some cases, it does look more attractive if you've got your photo on the CV. That's one option that you have. Use various colors. Don't just use black and white. Try and make columns, uh, spread out the CV, the information. Use, use the tools that you have available on Microsoft Word, uh, for example, or Google Word. Use the tools that you have available to make your CV more attractive. Use different colors, use different columns, etc. If you have a look at this CV, this the one I've got in front of you. This is a normal CV that we've just broken up into various columns, if you have a look, um, and we've used different colors to make it more attractive. Okay. Um, what we also, what I also want to, to emphasize is that you need to have your CV in different sections. So you need to have your experience, your objective. If you have a look, you've got your professional experience, your objective, your personal profile, all the information about yourself, um, your contact details, um, what your current position is, or your full name. Um, if you scroll down as well, you'll see you've got your skills and your competencies, as well as your qualifications, whether it being academic and professional, um, your certifications, achievements, whatever the case may be, it all needs to be stated on your CV. Okay, or if you are getting your CV uh, drawn up professionally by, by somebody that's assisting you, they need to be aware of all this information that needs to be stated on your CV as well. Any certificates, any achievements, anything that you think might assist you in getting the position that you're applying for should be stated on your CV. Okay, attributes, personal attributes, professional attributes. And lastly, at the end of your CV, have a summary or an ending, a synopsis stating um, why you feel you should be fit for this position, um, what, what, what's your strengths, etc. Um, guys, this is something that I just urge all of you to do because it would give you give you an advantage over your can over the other candidates that are applying. It would you make you a better competitor for that position, and um, you will stand a much greater chance at getting the position if you pay more attention to your CV. 
if you brighten it up, make it more attractive, uh, remove the black and white uh, boring option that, that everybody goes for, try and look for something that's more attractive. If you do so most of the time, 80% of the time, you will be guaranteed a shortlisting for that position. What it does is it shows your recruiter that you are interested in the position, you are interested in your career, you've gone that extra mile, you are, you've put it all out on your CV. Um, it shows the type of character you are as a person, that you are professional, and that you this is the type of person that they will be employing. If you come across, as I said, when we come across an all black and white CV, shows that you haven't done anything extra. It's just a, a small characteristic that, that represents yourself on the way you're showing yourself to your, your recruiter. Okay, so please, guys, um, it, this does not cost a lot. In some cases, you might, we, does not mean you need to go to a professional CV writer to have this done. You can do this on your own. When you make creating your, your, your CV, Play around with the tools that you have on Microsoft Word or Google Word Docs, whatever the case may be. Use various colors, change your fonts, use columns. It, you have all the time in the world to make that CV look professional. And in doing so, you are giving yourself a much better chance at getting the position that you've always wanted to apply for. So before you submit your CV through to your recruiter, take a step back, look at your CV, and put yourself in the recruiter's place. And, and try and think, what would you do if you were the recruiter looking at this, at this CV? Okay, so guys, I hope this helped you a lot. Um, please subscribe to our channel. It's quite important because we do um, try and upload very helpful videos that will assist you in finding placement and employment. So please share this with family, friends, colleagues, anybody that you think might need our help or our assistance because we do upload on a regular basis trying to help you find that that employment um, also our contact details can be found on 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 our subscriber page as well so please guys um, subscribe link can be found on the, on the right hand side of the corner of the, of the screen um, and we'll be um, we'll be back shortly with more helpful tips and videos okay thanks for watching again bye bye